Welcome to another episode of the Dynamic Thriving Podcast. I am your host, Marianne Pack, spiritual medium, best-selling author, publisher, and my favorite is joy advocate. And today is a very special day. This is our 100th episode of the Dynamic Thriving Podcast. So Lori and I are here and we are celebrating our 100th episode. And I've asked my dear friend and colleague and mentor and coach and everything that Lori is to me, Lori Raggio, uh, welcome. I appreciate you coming. Thank you, Marianne. It's so amazing to be here. Yes. And we're going to turn the tables again this time because I have asked Lori to interview me so that she can help me tell the story of the Dynamic Thriving Podcast and the accomplishments that we have achieved and all the good things that this podcast has meant to our listeners and to our guests and even to myself. So um, I am going to get ready and turn the mic over to Lori and um, we're going to get started. Thank you, Marianne. Yeah, it, it's when you asked me this, I was just like, oh, thank you. Really, thank you for the, the opportunity. Um, I know I've been a guest on many of your podcasts. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I've been personally impacted by the ability to tell some of my stories. Um, and, you know, as I was thinking of some of the questions that, you know, I would love to, to ask you and, and that I would love for your audience to hear, the very first one that came to me, and it was actually, I shouldn't say first, it was the last one that came to me this morning. <laughs> I woke up early and all of a sudden it was like, boom, here's this question. And um, I even, you know, texted you and said, hey, do you want to know it ahead of time or not? Um, and so to me, the, the one question I want to start with is, you know, before we get into the typical kinds of questions that you, you hear um, in a podcast like this, you know, to ask you to just take a couple of uh, deep breaths and really allow yourself to feel like what this journey has been for you. And as you have gone through these 99 episodes leading up to this one. Who have you become through the process? I know you as someone who, you know, gives the opportunity for all of us to shine, to tell our story, to talk about joy, to talk about being unmuted. But really, what has this process and this journey been to you? Mm. Yeah, when we were I am so thankful also that you gave me a heads up on this because (laughs) this question would have been so difficult for me Mm -hmm. because I was never taught to praise myself or even others Mm -hmm. because that would detract from God. And so if I did something as a young person, as a child growing up in school or whatever, did something really good, I was never praised for it. So I would never learn how to praise. And even in thinking about it, I homeschooled my sons all the way through high school. And when my oldest was um, late high school, or maybe had just graduated, and he said, Mom, I just wish you would have praised us more. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that just hit my heart because I thought, Oh my gosh, I was never praised. So I don't even know how to do this. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, I, I think for me becoming with this experience of the podcast and writing and things that I do. And um, I think I've become a better listener Mm -hmm. to myself and to others for sure, with a better understanding, you know, with the intention of understanding. Um, And being a better listener, even to my spirit guides, the many, Mm -hmm. and my intuition and how I feel. So being more attuned, I think, Mm -hmm. it it definitely has been a a blessing in this. Um, I feel more confident 
um, in unmuting my voice because I'm kind of an introvert. So even the first time I started back in 2020 with Coffee and Convo Live, um, I thought, how could I ever speak up and have a conversation or ask questions to my guest? And then, but when I did it the very first time, it was like such joy bubbled up that I was like, oh, I think I found it. Yes. <laughs> so it's been that way ever since. So definitely, um, you know, being more unmuted and, and then also holding the space to tell these vulnerable stories, to, sh to yeah. allow my guests or even myself, when you've interviewed me, you know, when we've had special editions mm -hmm. for, um, on, on occasion where I get to tell my story, just holding that space um, to allow those vulnerable um, conversations to happen. Because I do get comments back from my guests that, that they either didn't think that the conversation would go that way or that they shared a vulnerable story that they never dreamed they would talk about on, on the air you know, live. And um, so, you know, that's definitely unmuting my voice and finally not giving as much credence to what I think other people will think about it. Um, that I'm honoring, this is my values. These are my core essence. This is how I need to express myself. And if somebody doesn't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn it off or stop reading, you know, because I certainly have unmuted my voice in my writing over the years. In looking back from 2015 when I started my blog to now, some of my blog posts are much more rich and, and um, just so enjoyable to write. Um, I'm better at choosing joy, you know. I mean, to call yourself a joy advocate, when I first did that a couple of years ago, it was like, oh, please, you know, who's going to believe you're a joy advocate? But it's like, no, we all are because we're all joy embodied. And um, so I think that's a big part of what this experience has created in me and, and caused me to become. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen you become more authentic, more open, more vulnerable, um, and really be that, that role model for what you are asking all of us who have been your guests to be. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate thank that. Thank you for, for answering the question, Marianne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I think honoring you and everything that you have you know, brought to these hundred episodes, um, and it's through your own growth that you have impacted everyone who's been a part of this. Mm. Um, you know, I have to, you know, because because you were gracious enough to to ask me that question ahead of time um, to give me a little <laughs> uh, time to let that sink in and and yeah. mull that over. I actually came out of meditation and I asked my spirit guides the many you know, what do you think about who I've become? And they mm -hmm. just talked to me about, well, everything you've accomplished is just expanding who you are. And that mm -hmm. makes a greater impact in the world because you're living by example. Yes. And it's not just expanding and, and impacting for good the people in your presence, but even around the other side of the world. Because mm -hmm. energy knows no bounds. So right. there's... Right you know, whatever we're doing is always rippling out that energetic um, environment. And so we have to be mindful. What are we creating? What are we, what are we emanating? What are we transmitting? And I mm. want it to be joy and love. Yeah. And I think it's in that, that honoring and that level of energy that I really want us to kind of focus on throughout the rest of the this podcast too. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really wanted you to get in touch with that. I mean, yeah. how you personally have grown and changed and what you've brought to the process in order 
to support others. Um, so how did, how did the dynamic um, thriving podcast actually bring, begin, and kind of what made you decide to even start it? Mm. Um, the the little beginnings were in 2020 when I started that coffee and combo live, because mm -hmm. my initial thinking of it was, well, I'll just go on as a coach and I'll you know, talk a little bit and maybe pull a card and ask and have people ask questions. And I was just rambling on in those first few episodes. <laughs> Believe me, it was rambling. <laughs> Don't listen to them. <laughs> so, um, so with that Coffee and Gobble Live, the first time I had a guest, you know, that's when that joy exploded. And I'm like, this mm -hmm. is what this Coffee and Combo is supposed to be about. So yeah. I got that and we finished out that year. And in 2021, then I said, it's time to create a podcast. And I had been, I had received the name Dynamic Thriving in my meditation. Mm. And I didn't know what that was. It was during 2020 and I didn't know. So when it came time to create the podcast, I thought, oh, this is what it's supposed to be. The Dynamic Thriving Podcast. So um, we started in 2021 with weekly interviews. So mm -hmm. the podcast was on, um, the interviews were all on Mondays. And um, so that's kind of how the podcast got started. And now here we are a hundred episodes in. Jeez. And what was your actual mission for the podcast when you started? And has it changed? Mm. I think it's always been my mission because it's a part of me. It's my essence. And so, of course, the podcast is me. Um, yeah. Is that, is that spreading more love and joy around the world? The energy of love, the energy of joy. And to remind people because my spirit guides always tell me to remind people of their goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the other thing I'm uh, having to learn to allow is it's all the chair. emotional <laughs> floods that happen during live shows. And you know, I, I, yeah. I'm I don't edit things out. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think you know part of your ability to do that then just sets the stage for all of your guests. People, like you said, Marianne, I mean, people have come and they've been honest about telling their stories without yeah. holding back. Yeah. And it's been a gift to them. And in turn, it's, it's bringing you that joy and then anyone else who is, you know, watching or listening or hearing. That's true. Um, That's very true. And so I really want people to understand, you know, what, you have accomplished on this podcast so far? I mean, some of the numbers are mm -hmm. significant. So I don't know if you want to share that piece, but when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, I was blown away. Yeah. Yeah. I just went back over just even to now. Um, I went back over numbers because I like numbers. I like statistics. Um, yeah. I like the research. So that's kind of my jam. And so I just went back and I counted um, we've had uh, 45 interviews. Mm -hmm. I've had three special editions where I invited other guests. Lori was, did it twice for me, and I had another lady to yeah. invite me to turn the tables and take over the mic. Um, I've done uh, two solo episodes, like introduction, like this is the beginning of the podcast and what it's going to be about and that kind of thing. And then I've posted 31 audio blogs where I actually read my blog posts. So they're like a little, you know, a mini podcast to listen to. Um, and those were really fun. I, I love doing those. And I, I, I would like to do more of those. I've posted three Ask the Manys uh, where, where I, I had questions that I um, allowed the, I invited the many to answer the questions. So there's three of those. Uh, we've had 15 Unmuted Voices series just this year, and there's more to come, but that's how many we've had so far. And um, 
you know, now we're streaming this podcast live videos on my on my Facebook page, on my um, LinkedIn profile on my page and on my YouTube channel. So and then the audio, of course, goes to the podcast uh, mm -hmm. platform and then it's distributed to all the places, you know, you know um, uh, Apple Podcasts and Amazon and um, Google Podcasts, Spotify and iHeartRadio. So it's getting out there. And um, one thing that I thought was just really fun is that um, we've had listeners in 20 different countries. Yeah. You know, so it's an international podcast. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. you know, just to sit back and see what's yeah. happened by just doing this podcast yeah. has been just tremendous joy. And you can see it on your face, Marianne. <laughs> you just like are glowing. <laughs> yeah. Well, and how has the theme of unmuted voices impacted your guests? And I know there's actually a book in the process that's going to be published, I think, next yes. year. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. For the Unmuted Voices series, I just, um, we were in a meeting together, uh, a virtual meeting, and um, our dear friend, Dr. Divya Shepherd, was talking, and she said something, and unmuted voices just clicked. It was like, that's the series for 2022. And so I started that series. I started just putting out, you know, um, the offer for people to not only be on the podcast, but to also include a chapter in the Unmuted Voices book anthology. And um, we already have 13 that have shown interest and hopefully the the last couple will be coming on here shortly and then you know then these people have said yes to being in the anthology we've had more unmuted voice shows mm -hmm. but so far 13 have actually said yes we want to also be in the book so i am just thrilled and and as far as like the guests so so many of them have just um been surprised I think at what some of their answers were to the questions that maybe they would have never told that particular vulnerable story, you know, on the air. And it went in a little different direction, maybe when the, what they thought when they reviewed the, the initial questions that I send them that, you know, I may be asking. And, um, you know, they kind of have it in their head, how they're gonna do it and how, what they're gonna say. Mm -hmm. And then source takes over and the show is completely different from what they thought it was. So, yeah. you know, just holding that space for them, they have honored me with letting me know what a difference it made in their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and, and I know I have heard that directly because some of the individuals in your Unmuted series are my current coaching clients. Yes. And as they've come back and shared and you know coaching sessions after they've met with you is just how important this has been for them and for their continued growth and their yeah. ability to be visible and some of them are looking at totally different things and different ways of mm -hmm. being out there and, and sharing about their stories because of the opportunity to be on the podcast and in the anthology so thank yeah. you yeah so I'm curious, and again, I know, you know, you are so loving and offering, you know, these safe spaces for others, but how has this fed your soul? Um, how has the, the hosting of the podcast been perhaps even a healing process for you? Mm. Certainly, you know, this year with it being Unmuted Voices has just really um, opened myself to sharing vulnerable stories 
-hmm. stories that I never wanted to tell anybody, maybe that I had never told anyone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things that, you know, like I always say, my mess is my message. Mm -hmm. So watching the mess, the, the message change as I work through the mess. Yes. <laughs> has been yes. uh, uh, very tremendously rewarding and joyful. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, ooh, I don't know if I answered the question, but <laughs> yeah. I got so wrapped up in that, <laughs> in that it's one. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think one of the other things that you had mentioned at, at one point was just not only the the more comfort in in being vulnerable yourself, but um, also related just to the the religious trauma that it's offered you this opportunity to really a, a address that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I have never I never talked about my religious trauma. I don't think until like this this pat since I started the podcast. Yeah. Because even my blogs, I wouldn't write about it in my blogs even um, mm -hmm. until this past, till starting the podcast and then, you know, sharing it in audio blogs and then having you and another friend, you know, help me tell that story because I have thought there's no way I could do a solo episode about that. You know, I just knew that wasn't going to happen. So, you know, you graciously, mm, we had two two podcast uh, episodes, yeah. you know, yeah. because we needed to extend it um, because there was more that needed to be said. And, and um, that vulnerability yeah. shared and the mess becoming the message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, people might be asking like, what's next? So what, what's next for the podcast? Will you be, you know, accepting other people to be guests? Like, what do you think's next? And I know you also asked the many, so I know that there's also a, a yeah. message for them as well. I I did. I um when when we were thinking about you and I had been talking about, you know, well, what is next? Well, what do you want? And I was like, I've been so wrapped up in unmuted voices, I haven't even given 2023 <laughs> a thought. So I had to sit with that. I did have to sit with that and and listen. And um, and hear what the direction was, and yes, I asked the many, and they, you know, they, I, I have a message from them that, uh, you know, they said as a joy advocate, let's keep going in that theme. So what we came with, I had had, I had downloaded an idea for another anthology, which will be. Um, the new series is going to be for 2023 is keys to joyful living. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be each, you know, each podcast is still going to be an interview with guests that give us the tools and the, and the methodologies and the, the meaning behind what is joyful living to them mm -hmm. so that we're sharing the keys that they hold they held and are holding to their own joyful living. So we're going to pull those keys and share them with everybody on the podcast mm -hmm. and in the anthology. So yes, um, definitely watch for this series coming up because it will be in connect in, in collaboration with a, a book anthology and we will be accepting guests and also um, authors for that book. Um, so that's coming up. Yeah. Just really soon. So watch for that. I'll I'll be posting shortly on on the information on how to how to be a part of that. Yeah. And if you know there's um, any of your you know listeners and 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 guests and people who are um, you know joining us now, like and if they're thinking of perhaps starting a podcast, what advice would you give them? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it any way you can. Don't don't worry about that it's all just perfectly edited and your yeah. intro and outro is just perfect. And you know, I started it 
this this when I started the podcast, you know, I had all the the pretty intro and outro and had somebody doctor it and edit all my videos, my sound and my audios. And then it was like, it doesn't feel real mm. as real to me. Um, and I also liked doing live. Yeah. So when you do live, it's totally different from you can't take all the ums and things out. You can't take all the you knows or right or, you know, so you know, they just happen because that's real life. And I just wanted to be real with people. So um, so start simple. Mm -hmm. Just just get started. Um, you know, I'm happy to talk to somebody. Uh, I've already talked to a few people who had questions about starting a podcast, you know, um, even even this system that I use, it's I choose to do a video and audio. So mm -hmm. depending on what your vision is for your podcast, whether it's just plain audio and you just record, you know, just the audio portion. Um, for me, I love the video port part because there's so much more. Mm, when people see you they get to know love and trust you and they they want to find out more and when i'm highlighting a guest and their work i want them to connect with those people and i want them to get a feel for them and um not just this voice in the airwaves you know i want to see see i want to see them and i want to show my listeners and my viewers so um and, and you get better at speaking. You know, I told Lori even this morning when we before we got on here, I was a nervous wreck because I'm I'm always um, a little butterflyish before a podcast. And then this was a big celebration one. So it was even more. But that calms down. You know, it, it calms yeah. down and it gets easier and you get more comfortable in front of the camera or in front of the mic and um you know, just using things like this is this is uh, streamed through StreamYard, and um, mm. you know, so it's it's shown live in three different locations. So you know that's easy. You know, and then your podcast, you're going to automate because it's easy to automate. Then once you get your podcast audio up and running you know, then you, then you distribute it to all different kinds of podcasts. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you don't have to think about it then yeah. that you have all these other six or seven or eight other podcast systems, platforms that you need to distribute. So there's just so many ways that will ease your path mm -hmm. into podcasting. Take advantage of it and start now. Start <laughs> simple. Yeah. I'm hearing just don't think about all that. Just start. Yes. Just, just start. <laughs> <laughs> and there's resources out there and Marianne certainly absolutely. available. Um, absolutely. Well, and it, and it's fascinating because I had mentioned to you, Marianne, before we started that I, I pulled a card. I know a lot of people in our community and your community pull Oracle cards. And um, the one that I had pulled was from um, Colette Baron reads It's called the Shaman's Dream deck. And the actual card is called Dragon's Horde. And it's all about protecting the future. Um, and there's just a couple of things that it, about the message that I think is very interesting and really aligns with what we've been talking about. And it says, take the gifts offered you and dedicate them to the well-being of all, beginning with your own. So I think in some ways, that's how we started this podcast. It was honoring you and mm -hmm. how you are being and becoming through sharing who you authentically are with everyone else and then how that impacts their, their growth. Um, it also says, select the precious treasures that will further your spiritual growth and avoid the shiny objects that are empty of real value. Oh. The dragon guards the legacy of the future. You may be the one we have all been waiting for. So do not hesitate to take what bequest has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. This is the time to be bold. Do not delay or overthink. Oh, the overthinking, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
because I'm a very deep thinker and uh, yeah, that's when I have to step back and go, okay, my brain needs a break. Yeah. And I'll just let spirit to flush in and calm all that down and show me what's real and what's um, impactful and what's valuable mm -hmm. because yeah, I'm, I, I like shiny baubles. So I'm <laughs> looking for those pretty things and it doesn't, you know, those are not the meaningful things. So uh, this has been an honor for me, Marianne, to spend this time with you too and be able to highlight you um, like you so wonderfully highlight all of us. Um, I didn't know if there were other things that you wanted to share. Um, any other last comments, information? Yeah, I would say, you know, keep an eye out for the next series for 2023. And we're still wrapping up, of course, Unmuted Voices. We still have a, at least two more that will be coming up that will be in the on anthology also. So and then the, the book anthology Unmuted Voices will be um, launched in January of 2023. So that's coming up. And the keys to joyful living, you know, if this is something that sounds like you want to participate in, you know, you can always connect with me um, and get on my email list so that I can, you know, send you the information when it comes up or just keep an eye out on my social media. Um, it will be posted of how you can be on the podcast and how you can say yes to the, to the anthology for keys to joyful living. So, um, I, I think that, and, you know, I, I would like to ask you to share a little bit about what you do, Lori, and, and how you support people because you, again, you've been my mentor and coach and dear friend and all the things and all the feels. So <laughs> I want to let people know who you are. So tell us a little yeah. bit about who you are and what you do also. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a transformational leadership and life coach. I predominantly work with women leaders and, and women entrepreneurs. And part of what I do is, is kind of what you're seeing today. I, I help to facilitate individuals in really finding their purpose, um, finding their greatness, and taking those next steps um, to be able to create a life that they desire and deserve but that also aligns with what their heart and their soul is calling them to. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, just an example of that is being able to facilitate conversations that really help people to highlight um, who they are, who they're being, who they're becoming, and um, how they're making that impact that they're looking to make in the world. Absolutely. Yeah. And she is an expert at this. Let me tell you, she's coached me. So some of what I am becoming <laughs> is because of Lori's coaching. So um, I definitely highly recommend you um, getting into contact with Lori. And um, is there anything you'd like to say before we close out? Um, just that the, the one thing that, you know, Marianne has really taught me is the whole focus more on collaboration than being this fierce, independent self that I have been for the majority of my life. And I know something that we are working on that we'll be launching next year as well as, um, mm -hmm. you know, a, a focus on worthiness to yeah. honor our worthiness. And it will be, you know, a, a group. Um, that will be available along with a, a book that will be really more in a workbook kind of uh, format. And um, so that's something that has been interesting for both of us to collaborate on together. And that will be something that we'll be launching for 2023 as well. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned that because I, I, I forgot to mention that. So yes, the, the book that Lauren and I are working on is about honoring our worthiness and, and um, we're firming up the writing of it and the formulating of the title and, and, you know, the program that will go with it. And like she said, it will kind of be 
I love workbook style books because the information is all there. The teaching is there, but you get integrative questions and then writing space so that when you come to class, when you come to the group, you have all of your work material in one place yes. and you're ready for class. You're ready for your transformation because yes. you've committed to doing the work. And so, um, yes, this will be coming out. Um, and uh, we'll be we'll be posting about that. So keep your eyes peeled also for that on the worthiness. And um, is there anything else that you'd like to say? And if not, we're going to close out here. I no. I mean, I think this this has been an amazing conversation. Um, I really appreciate you um, and everything that you've done with the journey for yourself. And then how that impacts all of us. Yeah. 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 You forget sometimes how much it's <laughs> impacting other people. Cause you just go on your day and you keep thinking, Oh, well, it's just, you know, it's just my work. You know, I should just, I'm, I'm just doing this and, and it's enjoyable, but this is still what I'm doing. And then you forget that it can be very impactful for other people. Um, you know, as we, as we do enjoy our work and we, and we do follow the guidance of our intuition. Mm -hmm. And um, so I would also like to invite everybody to the, we are joy book series, all of uh, the, we are joy books that are in the series right now um, are there listed on the website. And there's a couple of others on there. And um you know, go over and look at these because not only are these good for you, they also make wonderful um, gifts, birthday gifts or mm -hmm. Christmas or holiday gifts. So, um, you know, bring some joy and meaning and love into your life and then share it with others. We, I would love that and I would appreciate that greatly. And um, I think as always, you are joy looking for a way to express and unmute your voice and and then come into the next season with the keys to joyful living we love you thank you everyone for joining us i so appreciate you i appreciate you Lori, so much for helping me do this i could not have done this on my own for sure You're so welcome, i appreciate your help and your support <laughs>